Have you seen those little hairy brown and black caterpillars this fall? You know them. They're called woolly worms, but they have an interesting life cycle and some unique traits. Storm Team 10's Joseph Dames and our biology expert take an up close look at those furry crawlers. Probably one of the most recognizable caterpillars in North America. Talk about a coat. Black head, black tail with an orange stripe in the middle. Stylish, but what exactly are those full haired crawlers? It's not a bear, it's not a worm, it's the caterpillar stage of a moth. Which is just the stage that we witness speeding across the road. They'll start to migrate in mass to try to find a place to hibernate for the winter. But as the cold crashes on these caterpillars, they take to another unique substance to keep them alive during freezing temperatures. No, they don't die. They freeze. You can find frozen woolly bear caterpillars in the winter. They produce a chemical called a cryoprotectant right, that actually helps to protect those cells when the caterpillar is frozen. In the spring, when they emerge from their cocoon, with a name that is quite sweet, but yet fierce. They're the Isabella tiger moth. But it's not just the life cycle of these caterpillars that is fascinating. These woolly bear caterpillars are also thought to predict the severity of winter. It's based off the color of their coat. So what color coat do you see here? Folklore says the more brown, the more mild the winter, and the more black they are, the more harsh the winter. But biologist Peter Coppinger says there's another reason. Some of the caterpillars vary in the length of the orange stripe down the middle. Now, there's lots of different factors that influence that, type, that degree of orange stripe. One of them is just natural variation in the population. Others have to do with how wet the season was, how well the growing season was, how early they started growing, and of course their age as well. In Terre Haute, Joseph Dames, Storm Team 10.